here we are rummage sale day uh welcome back this is actually a really good sale as i just got here there's like three cars that just pulled up i see one guy just run out of his car see that looks like another rummage sale person um oh I'm close this door while i do the intro but uh we're doing some rummage sale things should be a fun adventure got a lot of things planned for today so today's video is going to be two rummage sales i'm also going to the scrapyard going some other places but i won't include that in the video this will just be a rummage sale treasure hunt kind of video I We'll see what we can make of it. I know Paper Moose is going to come to this one as well, and uh, it should be a fun one. Here we are in Easton, Pennsylvania. Let's try to find some treasure. all right so i got a bunch of stuff here um there's someone here who collects pyrex so i might just give her this piece i i saw that she just totally missed it it's not really a very desirable set um but if you collect it you probably want it these are interesting Oh, I think that's actually part of the church. <laughs> Books to read. Yeah, it's probably part of the church. I do need new sneakers, but those look a little worn. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I really wear red sneakers. I go through these a lot because I use them when I go under my size. Are they? They are. I guess I'll grab them. <laughs> trimmers could have used these about a month ago two months ago uh cheese Grabbed all this stuff, spent eight bucks. Awesome. Lafayette game worn jersey as well. Uh, get you some scrap metal if you want. I guess I'll take that out, even though I'm taking that. <coughs> uh, some milk glass. This stuff's all free. Well, I'll do a little recap. I'm waiting for paper and moose because I'm going to give her some things that had some paper stuff. Make an offer on an aquarium. These guys are hundred bucks. There she is, the famous paper and moose. All right, onward we go. What'd you think of the rummage sale? There's no vintage Christmas. <laughs> there was no I seasonal items. I didn't have to run for anything. She didn't have to run for anything. That's always a good sign. A little less anxiety when there's less stuff, I guess. All right, so we're back here at the establishment of my house. <laughs> um, we got some merchandise back in stock if you guys are interested in pick up t-shirts. I do have small through 5XL available in stock right now as this video is being released. So head over there after the video if you guys want to pick up any Taco Stack t-shirts. I know it does take a while to restock the bigger sizes. So if you guys are interested, grab a t-shirt. Help support the channel. Uh, and what we grabbed here for the rummage sale was I spent a total of $8. We got everything from I spent a quarter or it is scrap copper, which is all bent out, shaved, dented. I figured for a quarter, it's about $1.50 in scrap, but rather than getting thrown out at the end of the sale, I'll grab it. These awesome Nike Air, I think they're Torch 4, 
red sneakers. They're in my size and when I keep them, the tread is still amazing on these guys. Uh, and I probably have a, a decent amount of life left in them. So these are always good to grab. You can grab sneakers, especially if you live out in the country. You ever pick up sneakers cheap, go ahead and do that because uh, my sneakers get really, really muddy. They get torn up. You know, I use them for grass. I use them for walking around my house. If you guys notice, I have hardwood floors. This is like, uh, I don't know if this is really, but the rest of my house is hardwood floors. I guess you would consider this hardwood floor. And uh, I always walk around in sneakers, so I have house sneakers on because uh, it gets very, very cold. The floor is very, very cold, unlike, unlike carpet. So grab that. We have an Americana Pyrex Bowl. I think that's the set. It's Americana and olive green. This was only 50 cents. So a good find there. The person who was actually buying Pyrex at the sale, she goes to like every sale, she put that one back. So I don't think she wanted this one either. She probably also put that one back. Some scrap brass, 25 cents. Not going to pass that guy up. Uh, I did grab this also golden butterfly, I, I believe the pattern is, with the lid. This was a dollar. Can't go wrong. We have a Griffey t-shirt here. We have this awesome we have this awesome Lafayette College football jersey with the Patriot League patch on it. It is probably a game-worn jersey as most colleges don't issue these kind of jerseys for sale. Size 46 made by Wilson. So nice game-worn Lafayette College jersey. It does have some wear on it, so it definitely has seen some game use. Awesome Philadelphia Eagles t-shirt. Vintage 1994. I've seen this t-shirt at a lot of local vintage shops around here. And uh, they ask upwards of 45, 50 bucks for this t-shirt, this exact same one. So I have seen it sold as well. I don't know if they get the full 45, but this is an awesome t-shirt. Vin a vintage Pittsburgh t-shirt with a city and kind of a gold print on screen stars, single stitch. Budweiser, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and this UMass Dartmouth t-shirt, which is also vintage. Uh, so this was a very, very good haul for myself. This uh, this one Eagles t-shirt is worth some money, and then obviously the Lafayette College jersey is worth some money. But picked up some things for myself, going to do some earth saving and other things, as well as some other things besides just clothes. And uh, we'll be on to the next sale, so let's head over there. All right, rummage sale is here. Pretty sure I'm an hour and 50. I am 10 of park in Oakland. You can't park there. I think I parked over here one time. So I did. This thing is really a pain to park here. An hour and 15 minutes early, but I'm here early, and that's because this little like house thing right here, this is a garage. Um, I think that's actually called a salt box design. Am I correct? Um, that thing right there is actually a garage for this rummage sale and they put out like the bigger items so you know if they have a galvanized tub uh last last time i was here i got like a galvanized fishing pail that all ends up in there it doesn't go inside with all the smaller goods so um, i did want to park close where if i bought anything i can just walk to my car rather than walking all the way down the street and you know towards the parking lot which is all the way over there so thinking ahead There's a snowflake over there. I don't know if you're right. <laughs> Yep, no problem.
I'll grab this bag. Two dollars. Okay. Alright, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Interesting, I missed it on the first go around, but uh. Alright, well, this is what we grabbed. Uh, nothing really. I did grab that nail keg at the scrapyard. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, check me out on Instagram at taco underscore stacks. Uh, you guys will see exactly where I got that nail keg at. Uh, but this is what I grabbed. I grabbed one Disney sweatshirt, a vintage Mickey Mouse Magic Kingdom sweatshirt, and then just this. This was a buck. Um, it's solid brass, it appears. So this is probably $6 in scrap. That's the only reason why I kind of grabbed it, because there wasn't really much there anyway. Um, I let someone else know that that collects Pyrex if there's another Pyrex bowl somewhere else, um, because, you know, if you're a collector and this is something you enjoy doing, you enjoy treasure hunting, I'd rather go to a collector than a reseller. It's kind of my my vision on this kind of stuff is, you know, if you don't really want to, you don't really need to make, an, you know, a dollar or two dollars here or there. Just try to be, be someone who's kind of kind in their way. Uh, now, this I picked up at the end. This was in that, that garage thing. Two dollars as is. There's a PlayStation here. There's a Nintendo in here. A couple controllers. I did see a system or a game. So, yeah, a couple N64s or controllers and you got a 007 GoldenEye game which uh, is probably worth a little bit of money so this might be going on eBay uh, generally I do keep the Nintendo stuff PlayStation stuff I, I just barter with I just get rid of is there even a game in here maybe I don't know it's kind of beat up on the back but for two bucks I think it's a great buy uh, you never you ever come across Nintendo stuff anymore it seems to be especially the vintage Nintendo original Nintendo Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Never really come across it, so I was really shocked to see it. I was also shocked to see it was still there when I got to that garage at the end. Uh, given that it was underneath the table, uh, a lot of people probably passed up on that, which is something I noticed at flea markets, is if you put stuff underneath tables, you might as well just not even put it there. Uh, you, you're just going to frustrate yourself, and no one's even going to see it. So, uh, good finds all around. I know it's not a huge haul. I got some good stuff this morning, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smack that like button. If you want to see more videos, have it right. Make sure to subscribe, and catch you guys next time. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream.